dead against this, right? I cannot believe we're even discussing it. It just makes my blood boil. This is another ruse for us to forget everything that's going on in this dreadful world now. I mean, we'll be bringing back ration books next and stockings <laughs> and suspenders. You know, the thrupney bit. Why don't we bring that back? That would be really interesting. I mean, for God's sake, we've got enough going on in this world with people who can't afford heating. You can't, I mean, why are we even discussing this? It just makes my blood boil that we would even bother going down this road. I can't believe it. Just honest to God, that no one, no one, could, no one could talk this. But for, for me, I, I, please tell somebody say why we should do this. Okay, well, Neil Hamilton, somebody. he's the man. He's the man because he's very passionate about this. So, Neil, why is Sherry wrong on this? Well, because I believe in a free society, and she clearly doesn't. Uh, Steve Thoburn, greengrocer in the North East, uh, was uh, subject to criminal prosecution for selling bananas by the pound. Um, how absurd is that? Why should the government tell us what measures we want to use in our private and daily lives? The things that are convenient for us, we should be allowed to use. Why should we have to use the metric system if uh, somebody, uh, two people, want to trade in imperial measures? Nobody wants to drink two and a half pints of beer in one go in one single glass, which is what a litre is, more or less. A pint is a convenient measure, same as the foot and the inch are convenient measures in daily life. Nobody's going to abolish the metric system as a result of this review, but it's horses for courses. If you want to conduct scientific experiments and measure very small quantities, then millimetres is a very sensible way to do it. But if you want... Sherry, Sherry, let, let, let Sherry come back on that. Sherry? 